And now to health matters. About 14 states in Nigeria have recorded an outbreak of circulating vaccine-derived poliovirus type 2. Public health authorities are now concerned that this challenge has been made worse by the pandemic's effects on areas of immunization programs across vulnerable communities. This worrisome trend formed the cross of discussions at the COVID-19 vaccination meeting with Northern Traditional Leaders Committee on Immunization and Primary Healthcare. Kemi Balogun reports. Nigeria was declared wild polio virus free in 2020 by the African Regional Certification Commission, making it the last African country to achieve this feat. However, recent events have revealed new cases of the circulating vaccine-derived polio virus type 2 in some states, including areas that have been declared polio-free for years. We have conducted four outbreak responses using the novel oral polio vaccine, which is preferred as a choice as it is uh, it doesn't seed the virus however some optimal performance has been recorded in all the states due to high numbers of missed children during the outbreak responses one is continuing routine immunization to save those nearly 2,000 children a day who die as a result of not being immunized. Vaccine can help boost routine immunization. Over the next two years, there will be a malaria vaccine. The second quarter review meeting with the Northern Traditional Leaders Committee is coming on the heels of this development, and the Northern leaders are ready to ensure that their support and that of their communities is unwavering. As cases of our CBD P2 continue to spread, even in states that have been polio free for nearly seven years. Added to this is the scourge of COVID-19 and the challenges of educating our people enough to create demand and acceptance for the vaccine. Let's not forget our high coverage is still poor and the cases of abnormal mortality are still unacceptably high in our community. With the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic and others before it, the invention of vaccines became a pillar towards ending them. But vaccine hesitancy continues to also still be of concern to experts here. One of the community engagement strategies we have initiated to mitigate this challenge is to conduct is the conduct of town hall meetings to address concerns of the general public and increase the uptake of COVID-19 vaccines. The World Health Organization supports achieving herd immunity through vaccination to prevent unnecessary cases and deaths. And for Nigeria, the proportion of the population that will achieve this is 70%. Experts are also highlighting that donor funding for polio has reduced drastically and therefore are relying on the influence of the northern traditional leaders in advocating for continued funding for polio outbreak response campaigns and also subsequent rounds of polio vaccination. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.